There are various ways that you can write up a discussion, but here's one way that has worked well for me. I usually start out with a summary of what the purpose of the study was, and I might even list the key questions. And then I organize the actual discussion by my research question. So I'll, I'll put a title for research question number one, and then within that I will interpret and explain the results emphasize any theoretical or practical implications or consequences of those results. I also make sure to note when I'm speculating or when I'm making a strong case. It's also very important to link the results to the literature review. What you're trying to do is to communicate how your research and results add to the current literature review. So it's important to reference key articles and see how your results are different or have added to understanding on a particular subject or topic. And finally, I put in a summary statement for each section or research question. Once I've gone through the research questions, there may be a case for adding another heading where I want to integrate the results, but that doesn't always happen. After I've presented my results and discussed them, I have a limitations section. It's really important for you to understand the limitations of your study and it communicates to other researchers and peers that you understand those limitations and have a good perspective on research. Finally, you should put a section in for future research based on your results and perhaps unanswered questions that you've noted. You may wish to add a conclusion section. Often people are looking for that if they want to quickly look through your paper and scan down to the conclusions. And it pretty much summarizes the key findings and implications of each finding. So that's the way I would write up a discussion and it's worked well for me in the past.